If you were to walk down the aisles of a Japanese supermarket, would you know what to buy? We did an episode where we learned how to order off of a Japanese menu, and today we are going to learn how to shop in a Japanese supermarket. The market is located here in Edgewater, New Jersey, just across the river from New York City, and the shops surrounding it are lovingly known as Little Japan. Little Japan. My friend Remy has agreed to help guide me through the aisles of Mitsuwa Market in Edgewater, New Jersey. This is one of the largest Japanese supermarkets I have ever seen, and I'm very excited. <laughs> and before we get to the shopping, a big thank you to Boksu for sponsoring today's episode. If you're watching this video and thinking, hmm, this is really great, but Beryl, I don't live near a Japanese grocery store, that's where the sponsor Boksu comes in. <laughs> Boksu is a premium snack subscription box. They work with family businesses all over Japan and every month deliver you a box full of treats straight to your door. When you sign up, the first box that you're gonna get is the Seasons of Japan. Inside are snacks from all across the country. Some are sweet, some are savory, they even include tea pairings. And if you're looking at the snacks thinking, cool, but what is it? They include a booklet that not only gives you the tasting notes, but it tells you allergen info, whether or not they're vegetarian, and just a little bit of info about the family that makes it. What are we gonna try today? I tend to like savory, so I'm going to go with these. This is a seaweed tempura. Ooh. Very citrusy. This is great. Salty, citrusy, crunchy. That's very fun. On top of the subscription box, Boksu also has a marketplace and I have linked some of the snacks that I found in the video that you're watching. So if you do wanna try them and don't have access to the Japanese store like I do, you can buy them there. For anybody in your life who is adventurous and curious with food, Boksu makes an amazing gift because there are so many different products every month that you get to try and things that you can't necessarily find at a Japanese grocery store. I think it's a great box to give to yourself as a gift, but also a great one to give to a friend as a gift. And if you use my code BARREL at checkout, you will get $15 off your first order. We've talked about these snacks, but let's go back to the Japanese grocery store where we can learn about even more snacks with Remy. Hi, my name is Remy and I'm originally from Tokyo, Japan. And I am so excited to walk you through a Japanese grocery store. So Japan likes to do a lot of seasonal type foods. One typically, especially on the refrigerated item, is the asazuke. Asazuke is a pickled Japanese vegetable. It's a mixture of daikon, carrots, eggplant, and cucumber. I'm not seeing exactly what Remy recommended, but obviously I'm seeing like a million, bajillion different pickled vegetables, which are like all my favorite types of food in the world. Pickled scallions. I have a deep, deep love for scallions. Pickled sounds amazing. I am obsessed with this. It's a pickled radish. I honestly probably go through like a bag of these a week. Buy this as well. <laughs> it is so refreshing. It's just easy to eat over rice or you can just have it as a snack on the side as well too. <laughs> Another item that is very typical is renkon slices. Now renkon means lotus root in Japanese. So a lot of the lotus root is pre-sliced and is pre-cooked or more so pre-boiled. We typically saute it with other vegetables with soy sauce or we put it as more of a stew type with other vegetables. Another one we do have on the refrigerator item that's my personal favorite that I grew up with as a snack is Maruchan's Gyoniku Sausage. Gyoniku Sausage means fish cake sausage. Found this one pretty quickly. The texture of it is, it feels kind of like a hot dog. I'm gonna just give it a try. When you open the packet, it's in this little orangey tube, and when you open it, it's pink. It looks like a hot dog. <laughs> I like to eat it right out of the package just because it's such an easy snack for me when I was growing up. Ooh, it's like a fishy hot dog. I would probably eat it hot, but this is definitely good and it would be really good in soups or like on a sandwich. Okay, I'm sold. <laughs> this is one of my favorite snacks. It's called Inari and it's in essence fried tofu skin and then you stuff it with rice and then put all of these glorious toppings on it. Japan being a culture where we eat nothing but rice, typically. Remy is definitely right. There are so many huge bags of rice here. Like, this is actually one of my favorite brands of Japanese rice. <laughs> it 
if you go to the condiment aisle now you have rows and i mean rows of certain things that would go over rice my favorite condiment in the world kewpie this is the most superior mayonnaise of them all i will die on that hill so the condiment that we have is gohan desu now when you first open it inside it looks like being like a black paste now that black paste is actually seaweed it's seaweed marinated with soy sauce and a little bit of sake and sugar we also have ochazuke it's a small little packet you put it over rice and you pour hot water over it and you just eat it that way I actually used ochazuke in the very first video I ever made when I started working with people on the channel and it was for a sick foods dish and the person just poured it over hot rice and I actually still have a packet at home. <laughs> so ochazuke comes in many different flavors. My go-to is the umeboshi which is the pickled plum. They have many many variations of that depending on the prefecture of Japan actually. Umeboshi can be very and I mean very sour. I've had this once before and Remy is right. It is very powerful in flavor. I think even I was like, whew, very sour. But I recommend trying out the one with the honey because it has a nice sweet and sour flavor to it. It's a nice way to introduce yourself into it. That is still really sour, Remy. <laughs> If you like sour, I feel like with rice, this would definitely be really good. It's like salty, sour, but then there is like a little bit of sweetness. This is definitely better than the first one I tried. The canned good aisles. Oh my goodness. For the canned good items, one thing that is interesting for me is sabakan. So sabakan is a mackerel in can actually, but it's marinated with either miso or soy sauce. So it's basically a Japanese version of tuna can, except we marinate everything. Salmon flakes. I use salmon flakes to make easy fried rice or I make onigiri with it. Here's a fun fact. I did the story for Great Big Story. Pretty much all wasabi is fake unless it's actually coming from the plant. So like wasabi, horseradish. Wasabi, horseradish. Uh, I found the real wasabi. It is $34. So here it is. That's the plan. <laughs> now the essentials that a lot of the Japanese household would get are soy sauce, mirin, and hondashi. I feel like Japanese dishes have nothing but the base of those three. Now soy sauce, obviously everybody's familiar with, but the thing is in Japan, some soy sauce actually goes with certain type of food like one soy sauce has a bold flavor for stewed vegetables or one that is just strictly for your sushi or for your sashimi another one for your stir fry another one is based for eggs over rice meeting is a sweet cooking sake and now it's different from your regular sake meeting has that lower dosage of alcohol as well as a slight bit of vinegar as well as sugar dashi i typically buy hon dashi because hon dashi i use it a lot in my soup bases like one is miso soup for sure and that's the same base and the same miso soup that you guys will get in the japanese restaurant another is a japanese stew called kabocha no nimono which is basically a pumpkin stew <laughs> it is marinated in a base of soy sauce meeting and hondashi perfect for the fall as well as the winter a whole stand of hondashi now i know now if you go to the junk food aisle now you're in heaven <laughs> these are so cute we have riska mentai umai snack now that is a corn snack it's like a Ooh. ring and it has different type of flavorings from cheese flavor to the mentai snack as well as a nori snack these look pretty cool Oh my god. It's like a, like a salty Cheeto. That is so good. Dangerous. You want to get to know a culture, look at its potato chip flavors. Obviously, Remy mentioned these, the mentai, the Codro flavor. Not a typical flavor in the US, but I found some other amazing ones. Pizza potato chip, corn soup, umeboshi, shrimp wasabi, these look like little french fries, Hokkaido butter flavor, white truffle for the fancy potato chip eater. 
another one is called Saki Ika. It's a dried, shredded squid. It is a snack that we eat. A lot of people, older generation, eat it with their beer because it's a drinking snack actually. When you first open up the packet, you're going to get a waft of fish scent. That is a bit of a strong smell. Ooh, I really like the texture of this. It's not spicy though, but I definitely see how like with a beer it'd be so good because it's like chewy, salty, yum. The frozen section, that can be a tricky one depending on what you're looking for. We have a thing called odense. It's a nice cozy dish. It's a bunch of different types of fish cakes in there with a small little packet of the broth. It comes with the soup base. That's kind of cool. It's like a Japanese type of stew. Boil five cups of water in a pan, add the soup base, put all the pieces in, cook. Nice. Next on to the sweets. So we have cheesecake caramel. The cheesecakes are in here. So it's like this oval type of cheesecake and it's like a sponge cake. And it's very light and very fluffy. Okay, we're gonna try the cake. It's so soft. I was actually gonna say that I don't think that I really like caramel flavor, but this is so delicate. I really like it. This feels like I'm eating a cloud. What the heck? That is not a lie. They speak the truth. <laughs> now, off to the beverage aisle. Now, if you go down to the Japanese beverage aisle, there is bikkuru. Bikkuru is more of a yogurt type drink. When you first see it, you think it's like a milky type of drink. It's a strawberry flavor. It Ooh. does kind of taste like a milky substance, but it's actually yogurt. Well, it's very sweet. It tastes like, it is kind of like yogurty. It kind of tastes like melted ice cream. That's what I feel like it tastes like. It was one of the drinks that I did grow up drinking um, when I was back in Japan. This is the cutest tea. I don't really like tea though. Okay, ready to check out. <laughs> I hope you love and try out the snacks and grocery items that I have listed for you guys. All my pre-eaten foods. Um, before we eat in Japan, Fine. we say itadakimasu. And if we have a drink, we say kanpai. So I hope you enjoy it. And if you have anything else that you guys are curious about, please let me know and enjoy your meal. Bye, itadakimasu. I would say this was an incredibly successful shopping trip. Thank you so much to Remy for taking us all around the store. Check the description for everything that she recommended and some of the extras that I bought. And a big thank you to Boksu for sponsoring today's episode. And I will see you in my next video. Bye. <laughs>